and where do you see better results? Ooh, that's a good question. Let's see. Personally, I would say I prefer Facebook ads. However, I prefer it for like direct to consumer, like certain types of businesses. But for B2B, I prefer LinkedIn advertising most of the time. Where do I see better results? Again, that's tough because it depends. <laughs> um, now, I have a history personally of I just Facebook and Instagram is like the more popular platform. So I feel like I've used it a lot more and I've gotten really, really great results from it. Um, you know, like talking, you know, millions of dollars in revenue from advertising um, versus LinkedIn advertising is more, I've done a lot more lead generation campaigns on there because that's what works best typically. Um, mm -hmm. but the results on there have been really good too. It's just, I think a lot more expensive and you don't have room to, you don't have as much room to mess up. So if you really, if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have a good idea of like your target audiences and like you could really do damage in, in terms of like not getting results and spending a lot of money. So if your audience or if your ideal customers are on both, like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, I feel like Facebook and Instagram is a good place to like maybe play and figure out what works. Mm -hmm. If it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't make sense because you can't target like VPs of this particular industry, right? If that's what you need to do, but it has more, you can have more or larger margin of error. I feel like I took an easy way out of that question, <laughs> but no, that's, yeah, that's a good definition. That's okay. <laughs> that's good. No, no, that's interesting. I just feel like LinkedIn is super serious platform. There is like, yeah, no one is going there to just have fun. They're always looking for some advices, how to profit, how to find partnership, like. It's super serious. That's why when you advertise, you get results immediately because people are expecting to get some offers. Yeah. Then on Facebook, you can do whatever you want. You can post pictures of cats and everyone will love and like it. And when you right. post something serious, like update your software, otherwise <laughs> your computer will get hacked. That's not going to work on Facebook. <laughs> no. That's not that's no fun. Like, don't bother me with yeah. these updates. Like, I don't care. But LinkedIn is definitely it's a professional forum. Although, like, it has gotten a it has gotten lately like a little bit of shade because people I don't know if you've seen some of the viral like LinkedIn posts. They go viral on Twitter typically, because you know Twitter mm -hmm. is the shade room. But with people like just posting very elaborate posts, like I remember this one executive was like crying. He took a selfie of him crying and posted it to LinkedIn and said how he feels so bad he has to fire all these people. And it's like, and then he got so much backlash because people were like, dude, like, I don't know why you're up here feeling bad and crying when like, and playing the victim when like these people are losing their livelihoods and their jobs because of you <laughs> it's ultimately irresponsible <clears throat> and um i just thought that so there is at least there's a little bit of more personality in the sense of like people being funny in the comments and things like that but i i totally get what you're saying about yeah it being a lot more uh cut and dry and like we're here for business and professional stuff kind of vibe people are very yeah they're very careful in the comments perhaps maybe in that case they weren't yeah. but uh it was a strong post so that's why yeah, uh, the comments were strong as well but yeah. usually on facebook you can 
like get whatever comments you want like i don't know maybe emojis with a well fuck you and emo- <laughs> well, well different kind of stuff they're not filtering it out and on <laughs> linkedin you, you just get thank you on I, uh, I usually get a very respectful comment like thank you for sharing this information is very useful like okay like and on facebook if i were sharing some stuff with my friends we're like dude that's yeah. awesome thanks yeah. like totally different reactions no, and like mm-hmm. it's so true it's so true i i definitely even i switch yeah. out like i have a linkedin personality versus like my regular social media and more so like i just keep it i do try to still and even for clients right like when they're running those ads like you want to make sure that it's still the brand or the company's like voice but at the mm-hmm. same time I remember I was working with this client and I won't say who they are, but they were, um, I guess not like in the hospitality industry and not very conventional. So that was kind of fun to like work with them to see how can we phrase this in a way, cause they would still be to be that attracts like the right, um, customers for you. But for the most part, yeah, it's more cut and dry. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some people are even afraid of the platform. It's super complicated, and they don't know how to really? to act there, what to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's not really popular. People do have profiles there, but we see less engagement uh, because they have no idea how to engage or what to say. So it's mm-hmm. it's kind of too serious social media platform. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it can really, really be powerful, though, if you know how to use it well Um, in any industry, in any kind of job function or role, like if you know what you're doing, um, it could be really powerful. But, you know, that's why you need experts like us. (laughs) Yeah, and I think you pretty much need to test it out. Like, even if you have no idea, you should try. Maybe it works, maybe (laughs) it doesn't. But when you sit quietly and just uh, view others or going viral on the platform, sure. it won't actually, uh, yeah. That's true. So you you actually have to like try it with like posts or whatever you're doing on there. Like you have to be active. Like you mm-hmm. have to actually like test different things out to see like, is this helping me or like, does it make a difference or, you know, it's making no impact. So that's a good point. And then be consistent with that, whatever you're trying, right? Like if you are doing ads, you're going to need to do it for at least like a month or something, I at least a month, like, (laughs) because (laughs) so many factors and things that you have to tune, fine tune. And it's like, yeah, you need that time to do that and optimize, right? Or if you're starting to do those LinkedIn articles, which I heard are good i don't know if that's true or not um maybe i'll have chat gpt gtt whatever (laughs) help me out (laughs) with some of those um i heard they're really effective for like helping your profile get visibility right and so if you have a business um you know people go to your personal profile and then they see your business like maybe that helps with get you traction on the platform um, so that's something mm-hmm. to try mm-hmm. or posting on a regular basis. Right. And also, what do you are you posting? Like, I remember doing experiments between video versus like a regular post versus a carousel to see like what actually mm-hmm. has more engagement on the platform. I still haven't figured it out yet because <laughs> it's like there's no consistency. Like my trends are inconsistent um and not statistically uh what do you call it i don't have enough data points yet but yeah you gotta do the work i have no idea what's trending it's really something you can't control you just need to try it out Uh, whenever you post video or image just uh, well just text 
it works fine. It depends what the topic is, when you post it, and when everyone is ready to read it. But what I can see is super trending on the platform is when s everyone is sharing their personal like data, like, um, well, yeah, I will tell it true. as it is. People are sharing <laughs> that their ex alcoholics and like users, like addicts and so on. So it's super weird, but these kind of posts are very popular on LinkedIn, like people liking it oh, and wow. sharing it. I, and I think it has nothing to do with the platform. It doesn't really, uh, w well, it's not motivating. It's not challenging. It's something that I don't think people should even well share, but it's popular. That's interesting. Wow. I haven't seen a post like that. Um, I you wouldn't didn't share see? that. No. Every major, uh, well, celebrity, let's call them, on f on LinkedIn yeah. has it's at really some point celebrity. shared it. Wow. They shared it. And it it was like about, yeah, I was an addict 10 years ago. I was living on the street and today I'm running a successful business. Well, that's not something that you... You created this problem. It's not like it was created for you. It's not like you had cancer. I'm sorry. And you overcame it or you've been, um, well, physically enabled and now you, you can run again. It's it. You've been using drugs, dude. That's not something you should be proud of. When first, like time, it's, it's very strange that people are liking yeah. that kind of stuff. I think. I think it has to do more so with they had a very, uh, what do you call it, like an obstacle and hardships. And in that case, it was like drugs or alcohol. And they were able to um, get through it, right? And they were able to surpass that and like work through their issues. In this case, I mean, some people it's divorce, some people it's that, some people it's a bunch of stuff. And I think, I mean, I get it and I don't get it, but I get that why it's popular because it's like, hey, look at me. I had this huge issue and I was able to overcome it and look at me now. Like I'm running my business. I'm a six figure entrepreneur or a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And I think that gives people like hope and inspiration. And in this current economic climate and the world in general over the past three, four years, I feel like it's people are gravitating towards that because there's so much negativity around us. And I mean, I, choose to like I want to stay informed but at the same time I definitely like uh insulate myself in my own world and bubble because I do believe like it's like be the change that you want to see and so I don't want to yeah I don't want to be all consumed by all this negativity right and so yeah I think that's why the posts that I've seen go viral are like and maybe it's just my algorithm on my page but it's like, I got a new role at X, Y, and Z as vice president. <laughs> or lately, it's been more like, I got fired from, I got laid off oh, from yeah. this place. And like, you know, but, and then they spin it into something really positive. But it's so cheesy mm. and like cringy to me. Because I'm like, I'm not, ha like, if I get laid off, I'm sorry. I'm not happy about it. Like. I get that, you know, God acts in mysterious ways and sometimes you need to be redirected, but, <clears throat> excuse me, like, I'm not happy about it either way. <laughs> That's just me, like, the times I've been laid off because it has happened to me. I was not going on LinkedIn and sharing that, that with everybody yeah. in the world and their mama and their auntie and their, this old colleague and no. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's man. true. I, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Definitely. Well, it's, interesting. it's a strange online place, LinkedIn and <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, it's the wild, wild west for sure, especially now. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
well i think that's it for today it was very useful and thank you for joining me for this podcast yeah thank you for having me again it's always a blast so hopefully i can come back soon <laughs>